one of those days today one of those days where you wake up and you just feel like giving something a damn good beating and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today first of all it's this pine I'm on Budby South Forest today, an area of Heathland, the largest area of Heathland really that we have here in Nottingham. It's right at the side of a main road unfortunately, so there'll be quite a lot of background traffic noise or in the case of what's coming through in a minute, motorbikes. Like that one. But I'm here today to beat one or two pines such as the one behind me it's all scots pine here and scots pine whether they like them or not form part of lowland heath but we seem to have an obsession with trying our very best to remove them it's arboreal genocide almost and yet these trees like any other evergreen such as gorse provide overwintered invertebrates with the perfect place to get through the winter successfully they often dry, protected from the worst of the Great British winter and the number of invertebrates that can accumulate in certain parts of both gorse and pine can be enormous. They're truly important areas or items of habitat or certainly an aspect of habitat and they're an aspect which shouldn't be ignored. We're taking too many trees out in the name of conservation and it really ought to stop because we keep removing trees, trees which are especially useful to invertebrates and other wildlife benefit too. If only management would realise. Well, I've worked my way just into Woodby South Forest a little bit more. I'm just a little bit further away from the road and there's a belt of trees, belt of pines which remain and I'm just going along this belt of pines. At the side of it there is developing pine scrub and it's part of Woodby which I don't come around to very often. But it's paid off and beating some low branches on the edges of the trees here, the more mature trees, has provided myself with a new species and a second record for Nottinghamshire. The first record for Nottinghamshire of this species was found by Nick and Samantha Brownlee about 100 yards away from here on Budby and it's a longhorn. And here is a very obliging Pogonicheris fasciculatus. One of the main differences between Fasciculatus here and Hispidus is that on the end of the elytra there are two quite distinct horns. They aren't visible or present in Fasciculatus. It's a cracking little thing and brilliantly camouflaged on this partially eaten pine cone that I've put it on. Thankfully, with the temperature only being 12, despite the fact that it is ridiculously mild for the end of November, this isn't particularly active. It has had a wander around the pot, but seems well settled on this cone. But beautifully marked, quite crypt cryptically marked when you look close up. I'll put some photos in 
throughout this video as we go along, but I wanted to at least get a little bit of moving footage, although it isn't, obviously, but this isn't a still photo, as I can prove there. But it's a very, very attractively marked species, cryptically marked against this background. They do habit pine trees, and so it's no surprise that we have it here in Nottinghamshire. We have lots of areas of pine, less, I suppose, than we had 15, 20 years ago. So how long it's been here in Nottinghamshire is anybody's guess. It may well have been here all the time and just one of those things that nobody's found, but chances are it's moved in a number of years ago. And at the moment, it's only found in this one small area of Budby South Forest, beating of pines, especially where there's accumulations of needle and leaf litter in with the branches. Probably the places to look, maybe even in the fir cut, the pine cones that are on the trees. It's a species you can target during the winter months. I'm very pleased with this. It's always nice to search for a species and then eventually find it. It has only taken two visits of actively searching and beating pines to find this. It must be here in decent numbers. And I'm glad it is. It adds a new species to the Nottinghamshire list. And that was saying, confirmed by Adrian Dutton, the county recorder for Coleoptera, in August, after Nick and Samantha Brownlee initially found pocket and cheerus fasciculatus here, new to Nottinghamshire, and a brilliant find too, and certainly, personally, a very unexpected one. Who knows what's out there waiting to be discovered in your own county? It's a case of people getting out and about. You can find things even in the very depths of winter. We're not in the depths of winter yet, of course, but these things are waiting, sat there patiently to be discovered. <laughs>